before I allow me to whack out my mini. Yes, please lick and subscribe, you know the drill. So I took to my Instagram to ask you what you wanted me to have a look at in... Breverton's Phantasmagoria, a compendium of monsters, myths and legends by Terry Breverton. Oh, come here. Let me bite your spleen out. The general consensus is lamps. I love lamp. I love lamp. What? A series of reliefs found in a temple at Dendura, Egypt, show what has been interpreted as electric light bulbs. And it does look like a light bulb look, with a Crooks tube style casing, a socket and cable and a filament inside. It works too, kind of. Many people have made working models, from some crap show on the History Channel to homemade experiments on YouTube. Ancient Egypt was fantastic at harnessing the sun for its power. Houses were temperature regulators by their design and location, and it's even possible they used obsidian and copper to build their own solar panel cells. How? Hmm. Well, when first proposed in the book Lights of the Pharaohs by Crasser and Haybeck, the description was a bit lacking and missed out the fact you need two electrodes to produce light. But say this was a working light bulb. It would be as heavy and as volatile as shit. Taking its proportions relative to the figures and the fact the bulb would need a near vacuum inside, the air pressure and therefore weight would make this totally illogical. And that's without taking into consideration how thick the glass would have to be to withstand that amount of air pressure. Why? There are many similar reliefs around the temple with many elements of the bulb or the supposed bulb missing. There's even some text, one says, these aren't bulbs, you twits. And another one, dedicated to the god Harsumtus, is the snake rising from the lotus flower. His body on the jed pillar being carried by a barge. And look, that quite clearly is a snake and not a light bulb. An obvious jed pillar, and the cable does now look a bit like a boat. Or the inside of a boat, anyway. What's the big question, then, what? We know ancient Egyptians used oil lamps, which would deposit soot. In many great pyramids and what's that say? In many great pyramids and temples, there are no traces of soot at all, even by whacking great hieroglyphs and massive structures of a tooth infection. Um, so, if they weren't using oil lamps down there, what were uh, they using? Well, possibly a system of mirrors, maybe even oil lamps, and we're just all ignoring the fact that there's, uh, um, there's even some on this relief that's supposed to show the light bulbs. Or aliens? Well, despite the fact it's very easy to disprove, I am aware that that is not very fun at all. So my conclusion is, it's unexplained. I'll investigate anything. Honestly, drop me an email. I'm serious. Do it there. Uh, see you next week. Live, love and lamp.